Here is a short video covering part of the WWF work on the Mgani tributaries. This is a locality map. The light blue line is the Mgani River above the Dargoff Falls, and the three red areas show the extent of WWF's project. The large one in the center is where we will concentrate now. There's the problem area on Watson's farm indicated. Um, and here is some footage before we started clearing logs from the stream bed. These, this is the waterfall on the first stream. Uh, above the waterfall, beautifully cleared. The work here is all about below the falls, coming into view now in this twisting valley. Here's some footage taken before the removal of logs from the stream. You can see them all lying in the stream bed. Um, throughout the passage of this drone flight. Um, here's some further footage giving you an idea of the extent of the timber lying in the stream bed, which was part of the scope and is now being removed in April 2019. The blue arrow indicates where the entire clearing started downstream and this, the indication of the stream coming towards us here. The slope of wattle was not part of the scope. Uh, that we hope to clear in some other initiative, but we're just swinging around to show what has been cleared. That gives you an idea. Between the red lines is where the clearing took place in 2017, and subsequent follow-up work has taken place. Now we'll take the drone up the valley. Incidentally, the uh, sort of rough mottled area within the cleared area is largely blackjacks. And on the right hand side, the silvery material is the regrowth wattle. The arrows are indicating uh, logs still in the stream bed as at April 2019. Here we go upstream so you can get to have a look. Pristine felt on the right, still wattle uh, thicket on the left. And the drone is progressing up to a tight corner, top left. Uh, where you'll begin to see some of the work concluded in April relating specifically to the removal of logs from the stream bed. Top center is some natural forest against that steep uh, gradient and the extent of the initial clearing here narrows somewhat because of that uh, steep terrain. We're now coming over the area where the log clearing, which commenced up at the waterfall, uh, came to an end. There's an arrow of where the log removal uh, ceased as at the 4th of April. So we are now looking at the area where logs were removed. And the drone is perhaps a little bit high, but uh, having walked there myself, I can tell you that the logs have been removed beautifully from the stream and it's looking good. Here we're just repositioning the, the drone to get it overhead the stream. And you are looking at an area that's been entirely cleared of timber. You'll see a couple of logs left there, but they're big ones and there are very few of them. Everything that you see now in view to the bottom left of the screen is pretty much what has been cleared. Below that still has logs in the stream. So let's point the drone upstream and take a look at what it looks now at conclusion of, of the project. The near side of the bottom side of the screen shows fairly good felt. What you're looking at there is old wattle, which was not part of the scope. And as we swing around, you can see log piles on the right hand side of the stream. Getting over that stream, the uh, stream bed there is beautifully cleared. And as we swing around, you see more of that pristine felt a little bit of wattle growth in it. And coming into view in the top of the screen now is an area that was cleared. Um, and it has quite a lot of silvery regrowth in it, which is going to be attended to by the farmer in the coming six months. Here we are over the cleared stream bed. The indigenous forest, a beautiful indigenous forest, coming into view in the top right. And if you look at the left-hand side of the stream here, you may be able to pick out the extensive banks of uh, logs and sticks. There's an arrow coming up to point at three obvious ones, but they are like that all along the stream. And then it takes a sharp lift here. You see a lot of that wattle regrowth, particularly on the left-hand side of the stream. 
with some of it coming into view on the right hand side as well that's going to be sprayed and here we are moving up to the waterfall which is a conclusion of the approximately 710 meters that we've measured of stream where all the logs were cleared from the stream swinging the drone back around to face downstream again and give you another perspective and we're going to fly down the valley again on the right the young silvery wattle those are about two meters high now and are in need of spray and we've spoken to the farmer about that that is going to happen forest on the left a little bit of wattle on the left here we are over the stream bed again uh, if one were to look carefully you'll see it's beautifully cleared of logs looking really good flowing strongly here at the end of summer as well good flows uh, looks very pretty now but it did make their work quite difficult when it was flowing strongly they actually lost a chainsaw in there somewhere which we're still going to have to go and find so here we are what's in sight now is what was done in the third week of the four weeks and then swinging to the left this area coming into view was where logs were cleared in the last of the four weeks swinging around you're now getting a view on the left of the screen of the area that was not completed this still has logs in the stream and this is an area that's going to be attended to by the following contractor with additional funding that's been provided by the wwf so we're going back downstream over that area um, showing what's going to be worked on and as we lift the drone and pull it away you'll see it extending down about 1.3 kilometers and that's the area that we're now going to tackle with the removal of logs and just some better footage although it came from march here's some footage of that same stream bed which perhaps shows the prevalence of the timber in the river a little bit better and to end off a big thank you from us at the natal fly fishers club for all the fantastic work and funding from the wwf